Hey guys, it's Ben from Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. And uh, this guy's with me too. Hey guys, what's up? It's JT, uh, in case you haven't met him yet, my son. <laughs> hey, uh, what are we doing today? What are we doing for Saturday's video? We're gonna show them the footage of the, the retirement home that we're going to bid on this week. That's right. Uh, we're going to walk around the retirement home. We got some footage for you that we're going to show you coming up here in a couple seconds. Uh, but uh, we wanted to talk about it real quick uh, with you guys. We kind of got some inside information on it. And uh, the lawn care company that was doing it last year charged those. Well, they got the, they got the contract last year for $800 a month. Eight, $800 a month. And uh, did they earn that $800 a month? I mean... They did the bare minimum for that 800 a month. They did the bare minimum for that $800 a month. The trimming, the edging, and and some of the mowing, it was all bad. It was awful, guys. It was terrible. It was terrible. The mulching, the guy told us they, they when they installed the mulch, they threw a quarter inch of mulch on all the mulch beds, called it good, it rained the next weekend, and most of it washed out because they didn't trench. So it was really bad. Uh, the trees up there, all require pruning and not only that but the worst part about the trees is what it's the wires that are growing into them that have been there for years they were supposed to be removed years ago in so. in oklahoma when we when we install trees new trees we put up guy wires on the tree with a with a uh, with a rubber piece around the trunk and it's to prevent the wind from blowing them over uh until they have a chance to root and really what you're supposed to do is leave those in for a year and then remove them after a year. And the reason for that is, so the tree doesn't grow around the wire and the wire doesn't strangle the top of the tree off. Well, every single tree out there has those things and they've been in there since, for about seven years, I think, was yeah. when the guy said that they were since installed. They first, first planted them. It's awful. So those wires are all strangling the trees. We're gonna have to, we're gonna hope to, if we get this bid, we're gonna hope to save the trees by cutting into the tree and snipping that wire off. Otherwise, it's gonna kill the tree. It's gonna at least the top of the tree and they already look terrible. Uh, but I think if we can get in there and get those things cut off at least, it'll give the, the tree a fighting chance anyway, yeah, right? So if, we, if they're left like that, those trees will be dead in a year or two. Um, I'm surprised they're not dead now. Anyway, uh, I don't know if I got any footage of that or not. I think, I think you may or may not have. If I got some, oh, well. we'll show it to you. We'll but anyway, guys, uh, we're going to show you that commercial property. We already told you that the last guys did it for 800 bucks. We're not going to be able to do it that cheap. We're going to bid our price we, because it's like we told the guy. We provide a quality lawn service and maintenance program, and I won't underbid it. Uh, if they want the job done properly, they're going to have to pay. They're going to have to pay proper money for that, right? They're going to have to pay appropriate money for at least a thousand dollars a month. So that's where we're starting at and it could go up. So I'm kind of doubtful that we're going to get it because some of these large corporations, they go with the lowest bidder, but if they want quality, they'll go with Acme Moan in my opinion. Yeah, they will. Uh, I know the guy likes us, uh, but that doesn't always do it. It's got to go to corporate. So, but anyway, guys, enjoy the walk around and we'll talk a little bit later after uh, we walk you around the property. We'll tell you a couple more details. So anything Stay else? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're uh, we're out at the commercial property. It's a retirement home, and uh, the manager kind of divulged how much they were paying the last guy, and I know that we're way going to overbid that guy. Uh, but they're really not happy with them and uh, our discussion circled around you know you get what you pay for uh, if you want quality you're gonna have to pay for quality so we're starting at, at you know it's not much honestly um, but the guys bid it out at a uh, $800 a month last year it's a 12-month contract so we're gonna do a walk around and we're gonna take you guys with us and show you what we got to do let's do this let's do it let's do, it. do it so from this pillar on the north end, there is the police station over there. So from this pillar, it's a diagonal line to that far, to that, 
to the far light post. We're gonna walk this as fast as we can. And then we have all these little guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen little bushes. One, two, three, four, five bushes. This is all mulched. We have the dimensions for the mulch. Uh, some small bushes. Some grass that needs to be cut back to about a foot. Ornamental grass. Ground cover that's coming in real crappy mulch job very very bad mulch job that they did last year so there'd be that mulch that mulch that mulch with all these bushes So we have this situation on every tree that I've pointed out. They left the wires in too long. And in some of the trees, the wires actually growing out of the tree. So we're not sure that we'll be able to save the tree or not, but we're going to give it a shot. And then there's that little guy that's planted right there. He looks okay. <clears throat> this guy luckily didn't have one of those things on him. But every other tree has those supports. So then we have all this property that extends all the way back down. Here's the sidewalk. All this would need to be salted during winter.
And then this parking lot, all blown uh, when cars are not here, which will be rare. You'll have to be very careful not to blow the rocks up on the cars. And then finally, this is a full 360 down to the stone post at the end where we start our diagonal again back towards the light post on the other side, then the residential fence. So that's what we got. That's what we need to estimate. That's 11 minutes. Okay, comments. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's gonna cost a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna estimate them fairly, uh, but it's not gonna be cheap. The guys that had, they had it, uh, they had doing it last year. How much are they charging? 800 a month. 800 a month, 12 months a year, uh, which I think is kind of low. And the guy said all they did was a. Uh, mow edge trim and blow and they were gone uh, those mulch beds they they tossed a, about a quarter inch of mulch on those beds that i showed you and of course it didn't keep uh they were cheap as hell uh eight hundred dollars is what the last guy did it for a month i'm pr we're, we're probably looking at well at least a thousand eleven hundred a month so but anyway, we're going to go home and gel up this uh, estimate, get it out in the mail by Friday because I promised that I would email it Friday to Jerry and his boss. And uh, that's it. Back at the truck. Back, back at the truck. Well, off the top of your head, JT, off the top of your head, what are you thinking? first time we come out it's gonna cost a little bit more than 1100 bucks well the thing that we need to remember is we need to spread this out over a 12 month period so if we get the contract they're gonna be paying us monthly every month for 12 months so what we'll do is we'll figure out how much the first one is gonna cost and then each subsequent one how much that would cost and then we'll average it out over a 12 month period sounds fair enough to me. sounds fair sounds so fair. we're gonna go home do this estimate guys and uh, we're going to tell you exactly what we're going to quote this at. Uh, full disclosure, we're going to we're going to quote it exactly, and we're going to tell you guys exactly. You can tell us whether we're stupid or not. What? Good morning. My wife uh, wants to be more involved with our videos and our company, so. We have, we have hired her to be Acme Moen and Lawns Care official chef. chef. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank You're you, welcome. Mom. You're welcome, babies. Hey, uh, <laughs> we finished that estimate. It took me about three days to put everything together. JT and I discussed it at length, and uh, we finally came up with an agreement. Uh, I think what we came up with is, is fair, but I don't know that a, the corporation is going to go for it. But we're, we submitted it anyway. We've emailed it. And, I proofed it. And my, my wife proofed it. And so, but we sent it anyway. I'm going to show that to you right now and wrap this video up for today, Saturday. And uh, if you guys have any comments, disagreements, I uh, think we should have done something different, maybe priced it higher or lower. Uh, I'm sure we'll get all of those comments. Please leave them below and uh, we will take them under advisement and consider them for the next commercial bid that we do. Anyway, what'd you think of that, JT? That process? I thought it was a long process, but it's gonna be money. It's a long process, but if we get it, it's gonna fill up at least, uh, you know, half to three quarters of one of our days. So we have left Thursdays and Fridays open for commercial accounts, we're hoping. Uh, we are gonna start filling Thursday uh, here shortly if we don't get commercial accounts. And, and maybe we'll just leave Friday open, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna show you that, uh, I'm gonna show you that right now.
Well, that's it. Uh, bottom line, um, we bid it at eleven forty six a month. Uh, that's over a twelve month period, so it would be eleven forty six a month for everything. Uh, we quoted them nine hundred on just the base of what they're doing right now out there is basically um, a mo edge, trim and blow. Uh, that's all they did. They didn't take care of the mulch beds. They didn't do anything with the bushes. It, it's a mess. Uh, so we quoted them just for that service, and then we added all the other services that the, the guy that gave us the walk around out there requested. So we'll see if they, we itemized them, and we told them that they could pick all, some, or none uh, of our services. So we're hoping that they go for all because they really need all. Sorry for the glasses. Uh, in, in our bid, we also included uh, our LLC certificate from the state of Oklahoma, our insurance uh, declaration proof of insurance and um, we also included uh, a personalized letter to the uh, to the guy that gave us the walk around and a thank you for um, allowing us to come out there and and bid on it so anyway I'm gonna go eat my omelet my chef should be done with my breakfast by now and we'll see you guys on Wednesday don't show the bacon <laughs> why <laughs> It was the extra crispy. Where's the bacon? <laughs> Let's see the bacon. The chef is fired. <laughs> what did you do with our bacon? I was cooking other things. K H. <laughs> the omelet looks okay. Damn bacon. Is this my omelet? Is this my omelet? Yes, it is. It's your omelet. I did okay on that. <laughs> Guys, we just fired our chef. <laughs> She's fired. <laughs> she burned the bacon. But I'm doing good on omelets. You're crazy. <laughs> omelets are good, but the bacon? <laughs> Not so much, huh?